Tomorrow night, Ted Turner. It was one of the most sensational trials in California history. Two sisters accused their 76-year-old mother of sexually abusing them as part of a ritualistic satanic cult. One of the siblings, Bonnie, is at our studios in Los Angeles. Her sister, Patty, joins us by phone. When, uh, Bonnie, did this lawsuit take place? Uh, the lawsuit was over a period of about uh, four weeks that ended in at the uh, middle of April. And what was the result? The result was a 10 to 2 verdict in our favor. It was a, a civil suit, so it didn't have to be a unanimous verdict. And what were you suing for? Well, we were suing mother for uh, sexual abuse in a ritualistic kind of setting, and the was for monetary damages because that was our really our only recourse at that particular time. Bonnie, uh, when did all of this take place? Let's get a little history. What happened? Well, the abuse began when I was just an infant and continued at least until mid twenties. Um, this is your I'm mother and father. Primarily with mother at first and then my father was gradually drawn into that aspect of it. What kind um, of abuse? There were many different kinds. Sexual abuse was involved. There was some physical abuse that included some scalding and things like that when I was very young. Um, as my father began to be more drawn into it, it included uh, child prostitution and things like that as well as actually being drawn into groups where there were ritualistic practices going on. Patty, this was through your childhood, age when to when like? Well, from infancy, and I have not remembered when it stopped yet. My memories have not shown me when the, when the abuse stopped. But when you got into adulthood, couldn't you just walk away? Uh, no, because I didn't remember it. I was completely dissociated. How old are you now? I'm 35. Bonnie, when did you walk away or didn't you walk away? Well, it's difficult for me to say exactly when it stopped either because, like Patty, I haven't recovered all of my memories yet. But I do know that, uh, as she did, I had developed dissociative capacities, including multiple personalities. And so I had no way of even knowing it was going on with my normal outer conscious. Why Sue? If, you, if you've gotten through it, if you've uh, been helped, what, what's your point in suing a 76-year-old lady? Well, the concern that we had was that not only were the two of us involved, but also my daughter, who's now 11, had been involved up until three years ago with her grandmother. And um, as far as I, I have no way of knowing if she has stopped to this point, my sister and I made every effort we could to get her into therapy because we believe that she also has multiple personalities and that she needs help. When we weren't able to do this, then it seemed like the only recourse we had to begin to make this known so that it could begin to stop was to go to the courts. So that this, was the purpose, is this much true more than you, any kind of monetary no. consideration. Is it true, Bonnie, that you were made pregnant while age 11 and part of this cult? Is that true? Yes, I and was. had a child? Yes, I did. Is that your daughter? No, not, not this daughter. What that happened was, to that child? That child was sacrificed within the cult when she was about six months old. S sacrificed how? By being stabbed and I was coerced into doing the act myself with my own child. Uh, the police never found out about this? The groups are extremely careful to cover up all evidence through using crematoriums and things like that. At least that's how I understand it. That obviously this can only flourish in silence and in darkness and so they are very careful about conducting themselves in a way that they can't be discovered how did you get free of this patty um, I at this point I don't know how I got free of it I have not had the, the the memories of it I do know that as soon as I started having memories that I was no longer part of the group because at that point they could not uh, control me is that and group stopped... still a group pardon me is that group still a group I can't honestly answer that. I presume that there is still a group there, but not having knowledge of it, I don't want to say yes or no. When I went into therapy, I didn't remember anything from the first seven and a half years of my life. Absolutely nothing except one single memory. First of all, by saying that at no time in therapy did Dr. Moss ever lead me toward anything. Um, that's part of the way that he works. There was no hypnosis used, nothing of that nature at all. These memories came back spontaneously without 
him ever leading me toward anything or suggesting one single thing to me and during the course of the trial this was made very clear even by witnesses for the other side there was not one shred of evidence by anyone that he ever suggested these things plus I would never read about them either heard about Bonnie, them don't anything. you don't you wish this is